The polycentric knee joint 3R60 with hydraulic swing phase control is recommended mainly for MOBIS 3 lower limb amputees with a body weight up to 125 kilograms. The unique characteristic of the 3R60 is its ergonomically balanced stride, EBS, which allows for a cushioned stance flexion of up to 15 degrees, taking place without initiating normal swing flexion. This stance phase flexion creates shock absorbing comfort at heel strike, as well as additional stability for the user. The alignment and adjustments are easily completed in the following steps. Bench alignment, static alignment, dynamic trial fitting. The alignment reference line runs between the first and second toe, the middle to outer edge of the knee, and the middle of the socket. For the correct bench alignment values, please refer to the displayed table. In the frontal plane, the load line runs through middle of the prosthetic foot, the middle to outer edge of the knee, and the middle of the socket. The sagittal plane alignment should now be adjusted solely by changing plantar flexion, so that the load line runs about 10 millimeters in front of the anterior lower knee axis. The following adjustments can be made with the 3R60. Both flexion and extension can be separately adjusted to the user's requirements. The hydraulics controls the behavior of the knee joint during the swing phase. In conjunction with its polycentric joint kinematics, the EBS provides notable stance phase stability. Please check the factory settings before fitting the user. The default factory setting is set to minimum for the extension and to medium for the flexion damping. The EBS unit is set to provide low resistance. At stance phase flexion, the blue rubber bumper is compressed, causing the pivoting mount to move up and generate resistance. The pivoting mount serves as a visual control for measuring the efficiency of the EBS unit. The hydraulic component of the EBS unit dampens the subsequent stance phase extension. To get a first impression of the knee, let the user walk in the parallel bars with the factory settings. The following video sequence will demonstrate how the knee joint reacts at the extreme setting of the swing phase damping. First, the knee joint is shown with the flexion damping set at the minimum. At higher walking speeds, the user has to wait too long for the prosthesis to reach full extension at heel strike. At this point, the flexion damping is shown at the maximum. As shown in this sequence, the knee flexion is too little for the user. The shank swings forward too quickly, which results in a hard extension stop and little ground clearance in the middle of the swing phase. This results in an increased risk of tripping. Please reduce the flexion damping in small increments so that the knee flexion is equal on both sides and the gait pattern becomes harmonious. Here the extension damping is shown at its maximum. As shown here, an extension damping set too high means that the knee joint no longer comes into full extension, which could lead to a fall. Therefore, please decrease the extension damping slightly to make sure that the prosthetic knee is in full extension when the prosthesis is loaded during heel strike.
At stance phase flexion, the blue rubber bumper is compressed, causing the pivoting mount to move up and generate resistance. The pivoting mount serves as a visual control for measuring the efficiency of the EBS unit. The kneel flexion is controlled at heel strike by the adjustable elastomer element and allows a stance phase flexion of up to 15 degrees. At this point, the EBS unit has too much pretension, which leads to no stance phase flexion. The user cannot take advantage of the natural stance phase flexion. If the resistance of the EBS unit is decreased, more knee flexion is possible and the pivoting mount raises faster. The round spring of the EBS unit must be adjusted so that the pivoting mount does not permanently stay in the end position. Please compress the EBS unit a bit more so that the user experiences increased comfort at heel strike and targeted control of the stance flexion. Knee flexion is controlled at heel strike by an elastomer element and stance phase flexion is in the range of 0 to 15 degrees. The EBS can be adjusted for different body weights and activity levels via the adjustment ring. To see if the swing phase is set optimally for the user, the user should walk at varying walking speeds. Equipped with a powerful hydraulic and a unique joint construction, the 3R60 controls all swing movements of the prosthesis even at higher walking speeds. Descending shallow slopes is possible with the 3R60 due to the 15 degrees stance phase flexion. In general, the steeper the ramp, the smaller the steps the user has to make. At this point, it is now time to fine-tune the settings. Here the extension damping is tightened a little more, so that the extension stop is softer. The polycentric multi-axial joint design reduces the total length of the prosthesis during swing phase up to 25 millimeters, depending on the flexion angle. Thus, the user obtains a higher ground clearance in the middle of the swing phase and the risk of tripping is reduced. The progressive damping of the 3R60 prevents a hard extension stop, resulting in increased natural movements and comfortable end position damping for a large range of walking speeds. Now the knee is set optimally for the end user and further walking exercises can be completed.